Hey, good morning, family. I'm excited to be with you again today. I think this is like the third video in a row. <laughs> uh, well, this video is pretty serious. Um, the Lord has put on my heart, you know, I, I'm going to tell you the things I've been praying about. Um, I've been praying over Italy and, and, and the... the all the little tremors and the volcano uh, and everything like that. Okay, and so I'm going to tell you what I saw. I was caught up in the spirit. I was just like I like I was just praying in the spirit. I was worshiping, and all of a sudden I was shot up in this in, uh, like I was looking over the Italy, and I was I was Italy was so small, uh, and and I was. It was so high, obviously. I, I guess that's the way I want to say it. I was really, really high, and I was looking down. And all of a sudden, I could see uh, over the water over Italy, I could see a black blanket. It looked like a black. It was very thick cloud looking like like clouds, but it was they, they were <laughs> they were as black as 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 uh, molasses, okay? very 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 dark like this and they were all they were they were they were all over the water and there was edge i could see the the black uh clouds going through all the houses and it looked like um like a smog going through like it was all around the houses and um I could see the rooftops of the homes because I was up and it and I could see the lights on in the house and um, above the Lord pointed my attention attention to a massive circle a humongous portal that was over the country of Italy and it was in the, in the over where the the uh, where I told you all uh, the, where the earthquake happened last night, where I told you the volcano is at, by uh, Pompeii. And um, the angels were coming out. There was this massive portal, and there was angels in it. And the angels were coming out of this massive portal, and the portal was like a breathing. It was, it was alive. It was swirling, and there was clouds all in it, and it, was, it was, looked like it was, it was opening up, like it was opening up. And all of a sudden, these angels started coming out of this massive portal. Thousands of them, okay? And they were all, like, coming down like a staircase. It was like, it was like they were all ascending. But it was all like they were lined up. All, like, lined up. And they were coming out like soldiers, okay? coming out like soldiers coming out of this massive portal over Italy and it looked like they were coming downstairs but I could not see stairs but through the portal there was clouds coming all out of the portal as the portal was breathing and turning it was swirling it was alive okay and the clouds were coming out of the portal humongous beautiful pink fluffy it was blue. I could see blue. I could see pink. I could see purples. I could see all kinds of beautiful colors in those clouds. The colors coming out of this portal. It, it was, I believe, heaven. I don't know. These angels were all like this, and they were all going coming down, and they were ascending onto the earth, coming down. And then when they got to a certain place in the uh, atmosphere of, of uh, the portal and the earth, they started to spread out like ants, like like all over the place. And they started scattering. And they were coming even faster down onto those homes. And they were and then all of a sudden each angel was going choo 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 and they were just like this going all over the place. And they were on a mission, but they were moving at like like the speed of light. Boom, 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 boom. And they were moving down. And they all had beautiful uh, robes on and the gowns on and, and and it was it was it was the most amazing thing. And the whole time I'm just I'm sitting here in this chair, praying in the spirit, and all of us I mean I'm just seeing all this and I'm just I'm just Soaking it all in because I, it's it's so amazing, you know. Uh, of course, I'm trying so hard to explain everything I, I the Lord showed me, you know, uh, in detail, giving you all detail. Um, and so I'm gonna take a side note here because I was asking Lord, what is all that black smog? What is all that that is? And he he was showing me that there was there was uh, 
from the from coast to co from all the on the side of the the thing there he told me he said there's a lot of sex trafficking in in Italy that people I don't know if they don't know about it or they do know about it but he was showing me that there was a lot of corruption sex trafficking in uh, Italy and so there was there was some there was sand and there was things that they were showing me about this and so um uh, those angels were coming down and they were going to these homes and they were they were doing this motion with their hand doing like this like come on come on come on come on come on come on telling the people to leave come on come on come on warning the people somehow it was like it was very it was very strange because every angel was doing the motion with their hand doing this they were doing this, and they were waving the people to come on. And so <clears throat> they did this for probably, you know, several minutes. For several minutes, you know, when you're in the spirit, you couldn't really tell a time frame. You could just sense an urgency on their faces. I could see their faces, and it felt such an urgency of a warning, telling the people to come, 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 leave, leave, leave. You know, that's what I felt. You know, they didn't say anything. I could just see the body language that they were in a hurry. And so, all of a sudden, all of the angels stopped their their arms like this. And I could I knew people were praying. I could feel the intercessory prayers from the the saints, from the the Christians, from people interceding for Italy in in the spirit, praying in tongues, praying in the spirit, interceding. You could tell, you could feel the blanket of prayer coming out of that portal and the things got, coming on there were the, uh, over the atmosphere above, not the atmosphere down here where all the black. Uh, clouds were, but above here you could feel you could feel the intercessory prayer going on. Okay, and so all of a sudden, all the angels froze, just like froze, like like this, and they turned their bodies and they looked back up to the massive uh, swirling light, uh, the the portal. They all looked at the portal, and and I was like, uh, you know, because I'm watching this, and I'm thinking, what are they looking at? And, and, and I could see them looking into this portal, and they, all of a sudden they started uh, going up. They started going, and they just started shooting back up, back up into that portal, and, and it was over of that. And then the Lord took me um, to uh, another, uh, another part of the vision here. And I, he said, I want you to focus on the canary. A canary. Brendan, what is the meaning of a canary in a coal mine? Study this out. So I saw a yellow canary in a cave. And there was gases. I could see a, a gas, which you cannot see gas. You know, a gas is, uh, you know, I invisible. But I could see it like a, like a smog coming up out of the ground, okay? And the canary was swinging on in a cage. I saw this bird cage in the spirit room. And I saw this bird cage. And I saw a canary... On the on the little on the little swing, and it was sitting there, and it was swinging back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it was it was chirping and it was making noise, and all of a sudden, I I looked, you know, down because I could see, for whatever reason, I could see this 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 mist like gas coming up out of the ground, and the and the canary was moving, and all of a sudden, I took my eyes off the canary in the spirit, and I was looking at the gas coming up, and I looked back up, and the canary was dead in the bottom of uh, the cage. It was just dead. It was lifeless. It was completely gone. And I was, I was, I was like, wow, you know, it happened so quickly. But the gases came up, and it, it took the canary out. And so, uh, this is a part of the vision the Lord showed me about, and the angels coming. And so, the, the the this gas coming up out of the ground in Italy. I don't know what that was. I don't know if it was from um, uh, the volcano stuff that the Lord's telling me about, you know, or whatever. But you know, I told you all. I saw 
hundreds of thousands of people go home. I saw a massive wave coming. I saw the Lord said, pay attention to the water. I saw the earthquakes in the water and the people weren't paying attention to the water. The water was what the Lord kept putting my attention to in the past visions. Look at the water. Look at the cove. The water in the cove, son. Look at the water. And he kept pointing me to that in the spirit realm, in my spirit eyes. I could see it with the Lord, was, you know, in the vision the Lord was showing me. I could see the water in the in the Gulf area. This is the Gulf right there by by, by Pompeii, and so um, this is just the things that the Lord's showing me. I know, like I said, a ma a major a four point four I believe happened last night, and I saw all the rocks and the devastation, and the people and the sirens going off, and a uh, video on from my wife gave me, um, and then I it was for somebody from somebody on uh, on Facebook, and so they were. Uh, put it on their feed there and she was showing me said listen to this so I looked at it and then I was like oh my goodness so I guess this just happened you know uh, yesterday last night so it was our 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 night so you know not even 12 hours ago or 24 hours ago so, so it's it's escalating and escalating and escalating things are, are, are really getting intense about this okay number two for the past week even from last Monday not yesterday, Monday, but the week prior. For three times now, the Lord has spoken to me about the, the electric grid in America. Telling me, pray over the electric grid. This is very serious. I saw a like a cyber attack or it was a false flag attack. I, I was trying to, I, I, like I said, I'm not going to just flat out and just say it was, it was Russia or whoever. I'm telling you, I saw something go on with our electric grid. And all of a sudden, power went out in New York and major cities. It was completely dark everywhere because of what happened on this electric grid issue. And so he said, you're not taking this serious enough. He warned me. He said, you need to pray about this, this, about this uh, more intently because of what is being planned and plotted. And so... Um, I saw a, a, when the electric grid went down for some people, it had the opportunity to be down for over three weeks. I saw the number three week for over three weeks. I saw like a calendar and I could see the calendar and I could see the days go by with people being without power. And so the Lord was warning me about these major cities and about this, a plot against America and about the power grid. Now, I don't know a time frame. I don't know anything else more about that. All I know is I'm interceding for this. This is another thing, like on top of the Italy thing, that he brought this to my attention, warning me about it. You know, and he, like I try to tell you all about what he showed me a year ago about <clears throat> investing into a generator that had three fuel types: propane, gas, and and natural gas, and uh, having a thing for electricity for what was coming in the future. And you know, and um, <clears throat> finding ways to power your home through solar, things like that. There, you know, they sell lights on Amazon. There's candles. There's all kinds of stuff for people to be able to use to be able to uh, have light and stuff. Um, you know, I don't want to ever preach fear. I don't want to be uh, somebody that's a Debbie Downer and coming on here and going whack whack all the time. But I, I, I get these things from the Spirit of God. These warnings, and they're very intense. And he warns me about things. And, you know, I'll tell you, for instance, uh, I was praying over an ice storm one time. And he was telling me about Texas being without power. I kept seeing without power. I kept seeing no heat. I kept seeing a, a, a poisoning of the water. Something was wrong with the water. And I believe it was about three years now that they had a major... A cold front, a major Arctic front came down out of uh, the Arctic and came down through Canada, of course, and, um, and and really made everything really cold in Texas. And they could not handle the, 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 the electric load for all of the people pulling all, for trying to heat their homes up. So all of the, the electric grid shut down because the windmills froze. And so all of the pipes in the houses burst because people were trying to drip their faucets and so it shut down all of the water so they put out a um 
a warning not to drink the water because the water had E. coli and all kinds of stuff in that water and you had to boil it before you could drink it. And this lasted for a, quite a while. But before that happened, the Lord warned me to warn friends that lived in Texas and told them, you need to get at least 12 cases of water, big things of water. So I took it on myself because I'm seeing in the spirit, not knowing where it really, you know, is this going to affect me? So I went out and bought all the water too because of what I'm seeing in the spirit because it was very alarming to what, what, for what the Lord was showing me. It had nothing to do with my household. We didn't even, well, we had a lot of water to drink for a while. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you know, but when you're seeing in the spirit, you know, I, I always want to be, I want to tell you, you know, this does not always affect everybody. You know, a lot of mileage here from, from all the way up to Canada, to Mexico, from, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, you know, there's a lot of ground here to cover y'all. So whenever I'm seeing over in the spirit, I don't want to always alarm everybody and say, oh, the power is going out for all of America, you know, because it's not. I don't believe that. So I want you to be praying about this for your own household. You know, it could be, it could be New York. Like I said, I saw New York. I saw a major city, I, and I believe it was New York. But um, I don't want to assume, so it could be Chicago. But I saw a lot of big buildings. So I want to warn you all to pray about the power grid with me. This is serious. Pray about if this is your area that the Lord is warning about. If, if it's... if. You know, instead of going, well, I'm just going to go out and buy everything and, and have everything off of Amazon from, from, from coast to coast. from, You know, because it it's ridiculous. It, it, the power grid is not going to go down for the whole country, okay, for, for three weeks. I don't believe that. I believe that certain areas, just like I'm trying to tell you about my story about Dallas and what the Lord was showing me. Here I thought, you know, I live in the state of Oklahoma, that this was going to be about Oklahoma. All the power is going to go out and the water is going to be bad. And I'm trying to warn everybody. So I'm thinking, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing in part, I'm hearing in part. And so when you're doing that, you, you know, I always try to be quick to obey, quick to obey, quick to obey whenever he tells me something. And so, and this was a, a strict, a word for Texas. And it affected a lot of people in Texas, uh, hundreds of thousands of people in Texas. And they were out with power for, I think, I think it was like two weeks or more. I don't remember. It was it was bad, you know, and no heat, and people were living in and, and staying in sleeping bags and trying to keep warm with their families, and pipes were busting everywhere. It was it was a mess, and so, um, you know, I, I like I said, I get these cues and things, and so th there, that's what I had today. Those are the those are the three three things. That's right, the three things about the canary and the and the and Italy, and then um, the, the electric grid. So um, I hope I hope this video blessed you. I hope it wasn't boring. I try to I try to give you things that the Lord has given me in prayer, and I try to keep you all updated as I go. So um, you know, so there you go. So let's pray. <clears throat> I believe uh, we can we can intercede right now and just pray for some things. Let's pray for the let's pray for some of this stuff. Let's pray for the people of Italy and let's pray for the people of of, of the America. So Father, I thank you, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. We lift up Italy. We lift up this volcano and the earthquakes and the things that are taking place. You said, Lord, that the, the perilous times would come. You warned us that there would be earthquakes in diverse places. There would be volcanoes and, and, and events that, that were fearful. That You said men's hearts would fail them for fear for, for looking after the things that were coming upon the earth. Father, I thank you, Lord, that we are all awake and we are listening to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. That we would hear your voice and a stranger's voice we would not follow. That if we are in harm's way, if we are not listening to what the Spirit of the Lord says, shake us inside. Show us, Lord, what we're supposed to do for our families. That we'd hear you before danger comes. That we would know your voice, Father. And that we would know it's not when it when it's between the spirit of fear trying to torment torment us versus the Holy Ghost is trying to warn us to tell us this is what you need to do. That we will not be led by emotion. We would be led by the Holy Ghost. I pray for every single person watching this video that it that Father that, that they would they would learn 
to 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 meditate on your word and 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 yield their self to the spirit of God in a way that they're not familiar with and that they would be able to 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 hear your voice clear we call clarity in their ears in the name of Jesus with spiritual ears we call we call father uh, supernatural giftings to see into the spirit realm to know your voice and to hear you of danger and a warnings to tell them this is a time of, 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 of you need to escape from this area or whatever. Father, I thank you, Father, they would hear you, God, right now in the name of Jesus concerning their lives. Clarity in the spirit, like turning in a radio station from, from uh, a static channel to a clear channel. Moving the bunny ears right where it's supposed to be to move the antenna to go, God, I'm, gonna, I'm going to put myself at your feet. And I will be at the spout where the glory comes out. And I am not going to be in a fear about what the devil's doing. But I have authority over the devil. And I'm going to have wisdom concerning this. And I'm not going to be moved by what I see or what I feel. I'm moved by what the word of God says. And we're going to hear your voice, Father. And we're going to do exactly what you tell us to do. Father, I thank you for that. Father, I pray... Uh, uh, a protection over the people over Italy. I pray protection over the believers. Father, they will be out of harm's way. Father, I thank you that those angels are coming out of that portal. I thank you, Lord, that you give strong warning even in the midnight hour and dreams and envisions and things like that to, to protect the people of what's coming. Father, I thank you, Lord, that if it's about the electric grid over, over Miami from L.A. to, to Phoenix to to Denver, to uh, Seattle, wherever it may be, the warnings that you're giving me right now. I thank you, Father, that this will not happen. We take authority over this cyber attacks. We take authority over false flag events. And we say in the name of Jesus, you will not do this in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our power grid. We say we will have power. It will not disrupt, disrupt life or cause people to lose their life because they need the electricity to survive. I thank you, Father, that there is a covering over these people. I thank you, Lord, that we would hear your voice concerning these things and a stranger's voice we will not follow in America. I thank you, Lord, that our people would be wise on how to handle things uh, in our... our, our um, NSA and the and the computer people. Father, I thank you, Lord, that a homeland security, the people would know and they would know how to protect us, the Army, the Corps of Engineers, all the people. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you give wisdom, revelation knowledge over these people of how to block attacks from foreign adversaries. And if it is a, a, a false flag or whatever, Father, we ask you, God, to, to expose all wicked plots and plans from the, from the wicked. Expose all wicked plans in Jesus' name. An uncovering, an uncovering, an uncovering in Jesus' name. We believe we receive this right now in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, I pray over their finances. Every person who's who sowed and believe and 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 and, 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 and believes in their covenant for a supernatural harvest concerning their finances. I pray over their finances in the name of Jesus for a hundredfold return over what they sow. I speak to their finances right now in the name of Jesus for great blessing is on their houses. Great prosperity is over their home. And God, I thank you, Lord, for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, settlements, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, bills paid off, blessing and increase. Father, I thank you, Lord, that every need they have is met and every debt is canceled in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray over their health and their bodies and wholeness and wellness in the name of Jesus. We take authority over sickness right now. We come against the sickness and disease. We come against uh, uh, manifestations of cancers and diabetes and, and heart disease. And all kinds of dementia and Alzheimer's. And like I said, PTSD. And all kinds of bondage from perversions. We command it to go now in Jesus' name. From all kinds of addictions to alcohol, to prescription medications, from drugs to, 
to all kinds of bondage. We take authority over bondage right now in the name of Jesus. Strongholds to be broken off of their lives. We call bondage and, bro and strongholds to be broken by the power of the Lord. We call the blood of Jesus over this right now. We plead the blood of Jesus over this. We thank you from the north, the south, the east, the west. We call angels to minister, minister us right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We pray over rain and, and abundance of rain over our areas. We break drought in the name of Jesus. We take authority over drought. We speak to the rain. We call the rain to come from the north, the south, the east, the west. We call low pressure systems to come in right now in the name of Jesus. We call forth low pressure systems and, and, the, and the moisture to come up. We call rain to come. We claim rain, rain, rain in Jesus' name. The former rain and the latter rain, even the spiritual rain of the Holy Ghost rain over this nation. We call abundance of rain to come down right now in the name of Jesus. We call your outpouring of the Spirit, Lord. Bring us a great outpouring, a great outflow of a great river, a tidal wave of your presence upon this nation. We pray over the leaders, over the people who are over, over this country. From Joe Biden all the way down. We pray for even the smallest person that's in power. We say in the name of Jesus they would have wisdom, Father. We thank you, Lord, they would have a fear of the Lord inside of them to make godly decisions. Father, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for your presence. For in your presence there's fullness of joy. Lord, we, we rest in you today. We take the care out of our prayer. For if you're begging, you're not believing. We thank you, Lord. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we will not fear. We will not fear in Jesus' name. We plead the blood over our nation. We plead the blood of Jesus over this right now. I thank you, Father, that we have eyes to see what you have to show us. Ears to hear. And I plead the blood of Jesus over us right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. Well, okay. Um, I thank you all for joining me today. I really do. I hope I hope this uh, this blessed you all. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to to uh, watch my videos. You know, uh, it means a lot to me. You know, I, I'm 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 new at this. I'm 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 just uh, I'm learning like you all every day. Every day we learn and we and we follow after the voice of the Lord, and He's He's faithful. He's faithful to us. Um, the present Lord really set, settled in on me right there when I was praying. I saw some things I, I have to pray about. Um, well, y'all, put a smile on your face and a song in your heart. Jesus loves you so much, and I'm so thankful that you watched my video today. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.